Hello then guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all well. Today is a pretty big episode. We have a top of the table clash and also a chance to pretty much qualify from our Champions League group. So please do hit that like button down below if you do enjoy today's episode. And also if you are new, then do also please hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's run the intro. Hello and welcome to episode 44 of the Roma Revolution. I'm Ben and coming up on today's episode we have a massive top of the table Derby della Capital clash against Lazio and that is followed by a Champions League group game against Borussia Mönchengladbach and our chance to pretty much qualify from that Champions League group but a win will be the only way we can enable to do that. Now since you were last with me. We have played a couple of games, one of which was against Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Champions League. A one-all draw against them. Juan Miranda grabbing a late equaliser for us. A fairly even game. Probably the closest match team to us we've come up against in the Champions League so far. So the game later on in today's episode should be a really exciting one. But two good City Hour victories either side that. 3-1 against Cittadea and 3-0 against Cremonese. And that all means that we do sit atop of Serie A. Still unbeaten, only one draw, eight wins, 25 points. One point clear of AC Milan who have played one more game than us. And two points clear of today's Derby della Capital opponents, Lazio. So a win for them would leapfrog them above us. A win for us would take us five points clear of them. And in a really good, strong City A title position after 10 games. So, the team that we're looking to take to Lazio is this one. It's Dragowski in goal. A back four of Miranda, Mancini, Upamakano and Dest. Camavinga, Tonali and Pellegrini in the midfield. With Thiago Almada in behind Pedro and Caio George up front. Dario is out injured. He shouldn't be out for much longer, perhaps a week or so. So Thiago Almada has his chance to step back into that starting eleven and see if he can give us some performances like he was last year. He performed well in the last game, so fingers crossed he can do so here today. A flat 4-4-2 for Lazio then. Dwight McNeil of obviously Burnley in real life. He's gone there in probably what might well be a big money move. Memphis Depay up front for them. So a fairly good attacking line there with Kalea as well. So a threat that has to be managed, but I'm sure we might well have enough for them. And fingers crossed we can pick off where pick up rather where we left off against Clemenese, which was a really solid 3-0 victory actually. We completely dominated the game. Could well have been more and it should give us some good confidence going into this game. So let's get stuck in. And as always, we have given the boys the faith. The assistant is off to the tunnel. And here we go. Potentially the last Derby della Capital we will be seeing on the series. Can we make it a winning one? We've not had many bad results against Lazio in the past. It's probably been a pretty even five years as it goes in the Derby della Capital. But can we finish it on top and just therefore give ourselves a really good solid start and foundation with a five point lead at the top of Cilia after 10 games and the 10 games that if we do manage to get a result here will have been a pretty solid one going unbeaten as well but for the first 15 minutes of the game not much has happened two teams that are probably playing and equaling each other out so we are going to ask for a little bit of creativity just to see if we can create a chance but it looks like Lazio are going to be able to do them so themselves through Orsolini on the right-hand side. But Miranda is there challenging. But Orsolini has beaten his man. He's gone into a great position. He's crossed. And Joaquin Correa has put Lacho in the lead. And we are going to have to come back from 1-0 down if we are going to win this Derby della Capitale. Orsolini beats Miranda with ease. And Correa is there free in the centre of the area to slot home. And what a poor start for us Roma boys. We're going to demand some more. We need to play much, much better than this if we're going to get a result. And it would see us slip to second place in the league as well if we're unable to get past Lazio here. A really poor start. Potentially one that we didn't want at all. Two shots for us. Three for them. 43% possession. It's been a fairly uneventful game so far. 
And here, our Lazio potentially again through Corsellini and Heisad, who are causing us real problems on this right-hand side. Erfan almost beaten to it by George, but it's unlucky. And Dwight McNeil's in, and Dragowski does well to keep it at 1-0. But Lazio certainly making the better chances here. They're causing us all sorts of issues on that right-hand side. Miranda really struggling up against Orsellini and Heisad on the right. And as far as chances for ourselves go... We've not been able to break down the flat 4-4-2 that Lazio are playing. So we're going to ask for a little bit more creativity. No one having a particularly good game. Kamavinga perhaps playing well, picking up in that defensive midfield role. But it looks like as time ticks by and we're not seeing much of the game, we might well be going into half-time at 1-0 down. And a bit of an aggressive half-time team talk to hopefully fire up the boys for the second half. George not playing well. Armada, Pellegrini, Miranda are the four who haven't showed up for the game. And at half-time, in what has been a fairly even game, we've seen nothing of us. And it is Lazio 1, Roma 0. And we don't want to be finishing the Derby della Capitale with that result. So we're getting aggressive at half-time. Let's see if the boys can show us something else in the second half. Can we mount a comeback and get ourselves back into this game? We're going to ask for some passion. We would be nice to see a highlight of our own in the second half, something we didn't see in the first. But if we don't, then it will mean that Lazio have overcome us and jumped to the top of the league. A draw will do, but I don't want to suffer our first defeat of the season right now and also tighten that gap at the top to only one point between us and Lazio it will be. So it won't be a massive drama but we don't want that at all. We want to remain on top. And as we get to the hour mark, we're not seeing anything of the game. And we're therefore going to look at making some changes. Almada has been really, really poor. We'll get Muriba on for him to play in behind the two strikers up front. Juan Miranda not having the best game either. So let's get Donati on for him. And let's just see if those couple of changes might well be able to give us something different going forward. We're going to ask for a bit of creativity. I think with about 15 minutes to go, if it is still 1-0 to Lazio, then we might well increase it to very attacking as well. But it's another chance for them. Memphis Depay, Correa, Drakowski. Oh, he's made a mistake. It's 2-0 Lazio. It's game over. This is going to be our first defeat of the season. Dragowski in the goal, I think, has dropped the ball into net. Correa heads in. Oh, Dragowski doesn't even get anywhere near it. And Correa has two. We're going to go very attacking. It's been a really poor performance from the boys. And I think we're going to be suffering our first defeat of the season. And unfortunately, it's going to come... In the Derby della Capital, a big Derby della Capital as well, with us being the top two teams in the league. And now our good start is going to be undone by an unbeaten Lazio team. But Dest here, Pellegrini, is this going to be our first chance? If we can grab a goal here, there's still a chance to grab a draw. Camavinga, Pellegrini finds Dest. Can he get a ball across? He can. Caio George doesn't get a shot away, but Donati does. It's in the post. Pedro. Oh, I didn't quite get in. Pedro looked like he had a tap in to win, to score the goal. Pellegrini with the corner up and Meccano gathers. Depay, we're going to be hit on the break, are we, as well, by the looks of it. Unless Camavinga can get back. He can't. Erfan in the middle. Correa for his hat trick. He's fouled on the edge of the arrow. He's offside. He's offside. Pedro with a great chance. Donati hit the post initially. Pedro should have been slotting home the rebound. But he wasn't quite able to. But is that a sign of things to come? Camavinga and Mancini knocking it about to, between each other. Back to Camavinga. Mariba. What can he do coming on? He's found Dest. That's a really good pass. Ball across. Donati at back post. Headed wide. And I think this might well now be the story of the last 15 minutes or so. That we're not quite going to take the chances that come to us. Caio, George and Pedro both having poor games. We'll get chic on for George just for the last 15 minutes or so. We're going to remain very attacking. We're going to stay in the same shape. One of those chances going in there could have made for an interesting last 15 minutes or so. We're going to ask for some creativity. It's been a really poor performance from the lads. We've not taken any of our chances compared to Lazio's doing. 
Seven minutes left. It would be a miracle now if we could grab two goals. But a goal now would make it interesting. It's fallen to Mancini. <coughs> He's going to pass it back out to Pellegrini. Pedro! Pedro has scored! And there is now six or so minutes left in the game for Roma to try and grab an equaliser. Great ball in. It's headed away. Mancini finds Pellegrini again. And Pedro is there to head home. And we now have five minutes to get a second. We're going to ask for some passion. We're going to see if it's... One final change we can just make to make this more attacking. We're going to get Mariba across. Pellegrini can come and join him in behind the strikers. He's going to go. He'll be a shadow striker on attack. Camavinga can come in and join Tonali in the midfield as well. Three or so minutes just to grab one equalising goal. Can we go and do it or is this just going to be seeing out the final few minutes? Five minutes of added time for us to grab something. One chance might well be all we need. And if we can grab a point in a game that we've not quite looked good enough in, it would be a good result. But as time ticks by, it looks like it's coming less and less likely We've got a minute left of normal time. It looks like it's going to be a 2-1 defeat against our closest and bitter rivals. And it will see us drop off of the top of Cilia. Unless there's any really, really late drama. We're over the five minutes that were added on. And I think now this is going to be our first defeat of the season. Unless we get very... Very lucky with a really late, late chance. And we haven't. It is Lazio 2, Roma 1. A really even game. 11 shots, 7 on target. More of the possession. But the story of the day is that Joaquin Calea took his chances when we were unable to do so. And it's our first defeat of the season. And we're going to have to forget about it pretty quickly. Because we've got a big game against Mönchengladbach coming up in the Champions League which I'll see you for in a second. A couple of changes then for the Munchen Glad back game. Dario has returned from injury, so he's straight in behind the strikers with Armada dropping to the bench. And young Juan Vega, obviously on loan to us from Manchester City. He's in on the left instead of Juan Miranda. The two weaker links in the last game just dropped for this one. Hopefully it can see the team perform a little bit better and we can grab an all-important win in the Champions League that, as I said earlier, should well pretty much secure us qualification to the first knockout round. We're on seven points. Mönchengladbach and Ajax both in behind on four. So a win would take us six points clear of Mönchengladbach with only the two group games to go. So fingers crossed we should well be qualifying from this group, from this position. But we still need to pick up a result in this game if we're going to be able to do so. So we're going to tell the boys to go out and show the media that they've been right to back us up. As always, we're going to say that we also have faith in them. The assistant will be off to the tunnel. And here we go. Can we turn around a really poor performance against our bitter rivals Lazio and grab an all-important win in this game? One that might well just see us back on a bit more of a positive run of form. We've obviously not been bad recently, but we picked up a couple more draws and our first loss of the season. So hopefully we can start getting that sea of green back on the schedule. And we've got a chance for an early goal. And Tonali from the edge of the area. It looks like it might well have been a header from the edge of the 18-yard box. Dest again causing havoc on the right-hand side. The header not quite finding the target though. And there is now an early chance for Mönchengladbach as well. For Sumansky on this right-hand side who serves right into the area. Juan Vega gets back in and does really well, I think. The shot ends up going wide, but I think Vega got back in just to put on a little challenge that may well have made the shot a bit harder. And that is a really worrying sign on this left-hand side. Skumansky was able to just cruise past men in there, and he had a chance to put Mönchengladbach 1-0 up. But the first 15 minutes have passed again, and the game has been a fairly even one with regards to shots. But Mönchengladbach certainly dominating the possession. We're therefore just looking for a bit of creativity. Can we grab the first goal in the game? A potential nerve settler and go on to grab a couple more. It looks like maybe not at the moment. Both teams, similar to the Roma game, just seeing each other out. As I did say at the start of the episode, Mönchengladbach, when I played them off camera, 
were certainly the most competitive team we've come up against in this Champions League so far. So with playing both the games against them first before having to play Ajax and Shakhtar, of course, towards the end, may well be a bonus. And the ball has found its way into the back of the net. Is there going to be an offside? I think there might well be. It's unlucky if it is. Pellegrini with a great ball across. George, oh, he's miles onside. It's a really poor decision from the linesman. And it should well be 1-0 Roma. Pedro onside by a long distance there. But unfortunately, it doesn't count. And he, well, he looked miles onside. I don't know about you guys, what you think. But he, it, to me, it looked like he was onside. And we should be 1-0 up going in to half time. And we're going to have to demand a little bit more. With five minutes and a half left to go, we've not seen a traditional performance we've become accustomed to for Roma but have we a chance here Vega with the throw it doesn't beat anybody and Tonali's got it back though in the middle Camavinga back to Vega back to Camavinga back to Mancini we're gonna have to see this one right I think Upper Meccano over to Dest we've got onto the right hand side eventually and Dest is going to try and take on his man cuts inside has a shot it's awful and Summer is able to save in the Mönchengladbach hole a really weak effort there from Dest again he's probably better going towards the byline and crossing but it wasn't to be there and again much like the Lazio game we're going to be getting aggressive at half time we're not pleased with what we've seen from the boys and we need to get back out there and put on a much better showing in the second half Pedro obviously the goal scorer in the last game he's now struggling instead of Caio George in this game Dalio on his return from injury isn't having the best of games either. And Juan Vega maybe not quite accustomed to that left-back position. Also not putting in a performance worthy of our standards. No one's really having an ultimately great game at all. And we're going to ask for a bit of creativity to see if we can just spur a goal out of the boys. But at the moment it seems like we're on a bit of a dip. And it might well be a time just to switch things up with the tactic maybe that has obviously served us so well for the latter part of last season and certainly the beginning of next it'll be sad to see it go with the good runs of form we've had with it but it might well be time for a change and talking of changes we're going to make a couple of substitutions here Sheik is going to come on for Pedro who's having an absolutely awful game and Dario is also going to come off for Thiago Almada in behind the striker and we're going to see if that can make the difference. And hopefully we can pick up a win against Mönchengladbach as opposed to another draw like we did in the first group game we had against them. We're going to ask for a bit of creativity. We seem to be dominating the shots, but not so the possession. But it might well just be one chance. And we need to take that one chance when it is presented to us. But it looks like a Mönchengladbach chance first. And Ginter, I think it might have been, or even Rob Holding at the back post is only just headed wide there. And that is a massive scare for the boys. We really need to pick up these performance levels if we're going to have any chance of doing what we want to do this year and winning that treble. Mönchengladbach, a team that if we are going to be winning this Champions League, we need to be really easily beating. Juan Vega is having an awful game on the left-hand side as well. So Juan Miranda is going to come on for him. We're going to go very attacking just to see if we can grab the winning goal in the game. But this is a team that we should really be easily brushing aside and looking ahead then to the knockout stages of the Champions League. But at the moment, it looks like we're just going to be on the wrong end of a nil-nil draw. And it's going to be two really poor results on the episode unless in the last six or so minutes we can find a goal from somewhere. But it is looking increasingly unlikely. And Munch and Gladbach have come here, set up shop a little bit, kept the ball really well. And we've not been able to break them down. As the time ticks by, how many minutes of added time are we going to get? Four minutes for us to see if we can grab a winning goal. But it might well be going the wrong way as the ball finds its way in. But we've got a chance to counter through Serginio Des. Can he put the ball forward? He can. Caio George beats his man. He's got someone inside him. He goes alone. He should have squared it. Oh, Patrick Sheik was all on his own in the middle. George could have just passed across. And it would have been 1-0, but George tried to go for glory himself. And it is going to be a poor draw in the Champions League. Two really poor results on the episode. Two really poor performances. We're going to get aggressive. 
We weren't good enough. We should have easily been winning that game. We had the chances to do so as well, but we just weren't able to take them. And it maybe is time to look at switching up the tactic. But we'll see if we can get a better run of form before the next episode. There's going to be quite a gap between the next episode and now. We're going to play through all the way to the Super Copper Final. Our first chance of winning some silverware against Atalanta. That will be the next episode. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, please leave a like down below for me. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content. And thank you all for coming along and watching.